So we're just going to practice uh, data types and variables because in the last uh, lesson I might have confused some people and I just want to clarify some things. So let's start quickly by making a variable. So the first thing you need to do to make a variable is use the keyword bar. The second thing you need to do is decide on a name for the variable. So this variable is going to be a string of the word, I don't know, a string containing the words hello world um, with an exclamation mark. So we'll call that HW1. Um, that's kind of representing the string, okay? It's good when you have your names to have the names be a, a bit self-explanatory, perhaps. This isn't the best example of a variable name, uh, but it's, you know, it's all right, okay? This here declares that we have a variable. This is the name of the variable. So this is where we'll store our variable. And this is the actual variable or variable value, if you want to call it that. Okay, so there we are. And this is of type string, which is essentially a bunch of text inside of double quotation marks. The text in question would be hello world. So we'll print that. Uh, HW1. Notice how I know I, to print this or to use this variable, I don't have to rewrite the entire value. I just have to write the name, okay? And that's the whole concept of variables done. All right. We'll just go over that again. So it's the var keyword, and then we want a name that relates to basically what the variable means. I think this variable is going to be a number, so we can call it num1, signifying number one. This is more intended to mean our first number rather than, you know, the number one. By the way, this equal sign, whatever's on the left of it is the thing that you want this thing on the right to be assigned to. Okay. If you didn't understand that, don't worry. Just, just watch what I do. So we'll make this number 199 and we'll print num1. It's actually in this case faster to print 99. So we're going to make that several nines. Easy, easy. Okay. So now we've got our several nines, all right? Now what I'm going to attempt to do is show you what happens when you use two data types. And by the way, this is of type integer. So an integer is a whole number, okay? That's the data type. It's not compatible with a string data type. And I will prove that by adding number one and 356. Now, because those are two integers, I should get a result here. There we are. However, if I try to add number one to 350, no, sorry, not to 356, to the string variable, I'll get an error. This is because you can't add this nine, what this series of nines to a word. It's like saying, "What's one add potato?" It's not a, it's not a logical concept. So the computer is confused. Okay, the computer just says, "I'm really sorry, I don't understand that." There's an error, and it actually says that the operator, which is the plus sign, cannot be applied to types of int and string. This basically means because the data types are, t are different, this won't work. I'm now going to use this, and that's known as a comment, so that this line becomes inactive. I'll just test that, and that has worked. Now we're going to make, um, we'll say dnum1, and we're going to, it's going to be of type float or double. I'm not sure which it is, but basically it's going to be a decimal number rather than a whole number, okay? And we're going to call it 58.9. And we're going to say 58.9, right? We'll print that. Denum 1. And we should get 58.9 here. There we are. Brilliant. Just what the doctor ordered. Now, let's try and print denum 1 plus num 1. Will it work? No, I got an error. So 
In the last video I tried to do this and I thought this might work because it actually works in Python and other languages, but it doesn't work in this language, it doesn't work in Swift. So this is of type double, sometimes it'll be of type float. I call it a float, it doesn't really matter, basically it's a decimal number and int. And the two types aren't the same, incompatible, uh, so they go kaputs, they don't work together, alright? Now, let's comment that out. Run this just to see if this still works. Yep, everything's fine. Now let's try and print denum1 with hw1. See if that works. This doesn't work once again um, because this double, this decimal uh, number cannot be added to a string. You know, I cannot add the number 58.9 to hello world, okay? I could put hello world 58.9 as a whole string, maybe. Um, but, you know, you can't add a number with a word. That's They're not compatible types, you know. In real life, they aren't either. In cer certain circumstances, they are, but generally they're not, okay? Now, last data type that's really that important. And we're going to call it truth. Uh, no, not like that. True val, true val like that, okay. Not the best uh, way to represent a variable. We're going to say it's equal to true, okay. And then we're going to print it out. So we print out true val. Notice that true, the, the actual uh, variable is uh, harder to type out than true, but You'll, you'll see in the future why it's still important sometimes to store these variables, especially as constants, which we'll get into soon. And that prints out true there. Now, what will happen if I print out trueval plus hw1? Why don't you make your prediction? Let's see what happens. It's an error. It's an error. It's an error. Oh, no, it's it's an error for the wrong reasons. <laughs> there we go. It's an error because bool and string are not compatible. So a boolean, which is a truth value, they're called booleans by Swift. Um, I just call it a truth value, but the real name is bool or boolean. It's not compatible with a string, so you can't print that. It doesn't work. They're two incompatible data types. A fact is not a word okay so the fact that one add one is two is not a word neither is it the addition of one plus one okay rewind that and re-listen to me if that didn't make sense now next one we'll try and print true val plus num one this actually works in python for reasons that are a bit strange we'll see if it works here i I have a feeling it might not work in online Swift, but it, it might. Let's have a look what happens. It doesn't work. So it seems that Swift, you just have to convert everything to make it comparable, right? And so all of these here that are commented out, these will not work. These will give you errors um, because essentially they are attempting to use data types that are not compatible with each other, right? To recap, the four data types are string, or the four main ones are string, integer number, which are whole numbers, decimal numbers, which float, double is the real name, and true values. And the real name of a true value is a boolean that can be true or false. Okay. If you try and use one with another without converting them to another, it won't work. You'll get an error because they're not compatible types, as they wouldn't be in real life. And to make a variable, all you have to do is use the keyword var, V-A-R, the name of the variable, the equal sign, and then to the right of the equal sign, the value of the variable. And the value of the variable will also dictate its type. So because this is a bunch of integers and it's not in quotation marks, Swift automatically knows that this is an integer. So num1 is automatically of type integer. The same for all of these variables. And that's more or less, yeah, everything about 
variables and data types at least the basics we'll go into more later on thanks for watching